first method for solving a system of linear differential equations we're going to look at is known as systematic elimination. This works in much the same way as the method of elimination works for solving a regular system of linear equations, except instead of multiplying by an algebra, uh, multiplying an algebraic equation by a constant, we are going to operate on a differential equation with some combination of derivatives. So we're going to first look at the system given by dx dt plus dy dt plus 2y is equal to 0, and dx dt minus 3x minus 2y is equal to 0. So I'm first going to write this in operator form. So remember that a capital D represents derivative. So the capital D is the differential operator. So this is dx plus d plus 2y is equal to 0. That's the first equation. The second equation is d minus 3x minus 2y is equal to 0. So now the goal is to try and eliminate a variable, just like in the method of elimination for linear systems. So the first thing is I'm going to multiply the first equation, or I'm going to operate on the first equation by d minus 3, and I'll operate on the second equation by d, and then add the two equations together. So we'll get d minus 3 times d plus 2y minus 2dy. Simplify this. We get d minus 3 times d plus 2 minus 2d, all operating on y. And if you expand that out, we get d squared plus d minus 6 operated on y, and that has to equal 0. We now write this in its equation form. So d squared is second derivative, so y double prime plus y prime minus 6y is equal to 0, and we already saw how to solve such an equation. The auxiliary equation is m squared plus m minus 6 is equal to 0, which has solutions m1 equals negative 3 and m2 equals 2. Therefore, y of t has to be c1 e to the negative 3t plus c2 e to the 2t. and keep that in the back of our minds. Now we come back up to the system. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to operate on the first equation by simply 2, and on the second by d plus 2, then add the equations together. So doing so gives 2dx plus d plus 2 times d minus 3x. This will give us 2d plus d plus 2 times d minus 3 operated on x, which is d squared plus d minus 6. 
x, and that has to equal 0. Putting this in standard form, we get x double prime plus x prime minus 6x is equal to 0. This is going to wind up giving us the exact same solution form. So x of t will equal c3 e to the negative 3t plus c4 e to the 2t. Therefore, our solution, which I'll represent as c of t, is going to be x of t comma y of t, so c3 e to the negative 3t plus c4 e to the 2t comma c1 e to the negative 3t plus c2 e to the 2t. And this is our solution. Now let's look at the system, dx dt minus 4x plus d squared y over dt squared, all equal to t squared, and then dx dt plus x plus dy dt is all equal to zero. So again, the first thing we have to do is write this in its operator form. So we get d minus 4x plus d squared y is equal to t squared. And d plus 1x plus dy is equal to 0. So first, let's operate on the second equation by d and add them together. I'm sorry, we're going to operate by negative d and add them together. This will give us d minus 4. I don't know why I'm using yellow. d minus 4x minus d times d plus 1x. This will give us d minus 4 minus d times d plus 1, all operated on x, which winds up giving negative d squared minus 4x, and that equals t squared. We now have a non-homogeneous equation we have to solve. So writing this in its standard form, we're going to get negative x double prime minus 4x is equal to t squared. This will give the auxiliary equation negative m squared minus 4 is equal to 0. So our solutions to that are plus or minus 2i. So our complementary function is c1 cosine of 2t plus c2 sine of 2t. For the particular solution, it will have the form of at squared plus bt plus c. It's a second order polynomial. So x prime 2at plus b. x double prime is 2a. We plug all that in. We're going to get negative 2a minus 4 times a t squared plus b t plus c. So this is negative 4a t squared minus 4 b t minus 2a 
minus 4c. That has to equal t squared. So we get the system negative 4a is equal to 1. Negative 4b is equal to 0. And negative 2a minus 4c is equal to 0. Which has solution. A equals negative a quarter, B equals zero, and C equals an eighth. So our particular solution is negative a quarter T squared plus an eighth. So for X of T, we get C1 cosine of 2T plus C2 sine of 2T minus a quarter T squared plus an eighth. We now come back up to our system. We now want to solve for Y. So we have to operate on this first equation by d plus 1. We operate on the second equation by negative d minus 4. And we add the two equations together. Doing so will give us d squared times d plus 1y minus d times d minus 4y. So we get d squared times d plus 1 minus d times d minus 4 all operated on y. And this will simplify to d cubed plus d squared minus d squared plus 4d y, which is simply d cubed plus 4d operated on y. This has to equal t squared plus 2t. So this is the equation y triple prime plus 4y prime equals t squared plus 2t. This has auxiliary equation m cubed plus 4m equals 0, which gives solution m1 is 0, m2 is 2i, and m3 is negative. 2i. So the complementary c3 plus c4 cosine 2t plus c5 sine of 2t. The particular solution will have the form of at squared plus bt plus c, a second degree polynomial. However, we already have a constant. So we have to multiply this whole thing by t. And so we take our form to be at cubed plus bt squared plus ct. So y prime. 3at squared plus 2bt plus c, y double prime, 6at plus 2b, y triple prime, simply 6a. Plugging all that in, we get 
6a plus 4 times 3at squared plus 2bt plus c. This will simplify to 12at squared plus 8bt plus 6a plus c, and that has to be t squared plus 2t. So we get this the system 12a is equal to 1, 8b is equal to 2, and 6a plus c is equal to 0, which gives solution a is a 12th, b is a 4th, and c is negative a half. So yp is a 12th t cubed plus a 4th t squared minus a half t. And so our y would be c3 plus c4 cosine 2t plus c5 sine of 2t plus a 12th t cubed plus a fourth t squared minus a half t. We now have our two solutions. So our solution vector, let's call it c of t, c1 cosine 2t plus c2 sine 2t minus a quarter t squared plus an eighth, and then our y, c3 plus c4 cosine 2t plus c5 sine 2t plus a twelfth t cubed plus a fourth t squared minus a half t, and that is our solution vector. So that concludes this lesson. I hope you've learned something and we'll see you in the next one.